Last week, Canva hosted their second developer conference, Canva Extend, in San Francisco, and they shared some pretty exciting news. They unveiled a bunch of novelties for their app ecosystem and also rolled out some cool tools for developers to create even more amazing Canva apps. So if you use and love using Canva apps and kind of want to see where this is all going, I suggest you stick around. Hey, what's up, everyone? Ronnie here, your go-to Canva guru. Welcome to our channel. This is your place to learn anything about Canva. Today, we are talking about Canva apps and where they are going. What is the future of Canva apps? We're going to debrief everything that has been said at Canva Extend. I'm going to be watching some passages, some footages from the Canva Extend video on the Canva official YouTube channel and give you my feedback, my reactions to what they announced. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first person who went on stage and kind of opened the show at Canva Extend was Cameron Adams. Cameron is one of the three Canva co-founder. He's also the chief product officer at Canva. And he is the guy who kind of deals with everything kind of like tech related and the strategy of Canva in terms of where the tech is evolving. All right. So Cameron started by just welcoming everyone, saying that they were back to San Francisco for the second edition. And this is a big day for for the developer community building apps on Canva. And then he explained kind of the essence of the Canva developer program, mentioning it was a win-win. Let's hear it from him. And the apps that you have built over those 12 months have had a really deep impact on our community. We've helped sign up actually millions of users for all of you, and we're bringing an even better design experience all across Canva as well. So the win-win Cam talks about here is on the one hand, we have the developer community building apps on the Canva ecosystem, and their win is that they are being exposed to all of the Canva users, getting this visibility. And on the other hand, we have the users, the Canva users who benefit from the app ecosystem in that they are getting a better design experience in Canva. So that's the win-win. But let's hear more about the opportunity for developers. What makes the app program, the app ecosystem so appealing to these developers? Since the last Canva Extend, we've added 55 million monthly active users. And that's a number that originally took us six years to achieve. We're now at all-time highs with over 190 million monthly active users on our platform. And that is a huge market for your apps and your integrations. So let's come back to this number, 190 million monthly active users, which means that there are 190 million people who use Canva every month, at least once a month. So this indeed represents a lot of people, a huge market for these app developers to to tap into. And further into the presentation, Canva will share some testimonials of companies that have been building apps on Canva and gained a massive amount of new users through this integration with the app ecosystem. So this is the opportunity. Now let's listen to Anwar, the head of this app ecosystem at Canva, and see just how big the ecosystem is only one year after launching. In just one year, our global community of developers have expanded rapidly with members in over 122 countries around the globe. And this community has created over 300 apps in the app marketplace, half of which are powered by AI. The numbers are staggering. In just one year, we have 221 million app installs across our user base. Our users aren't just dabbling in these apps. They've become an indispensable part of their design workflow. Apps have been used 1 billion times since we launched Canva Developers a year ago. That means that many of our users are returning to add their favorite apps and using them over and over again. Some of them using apps up to four to five times a day. Okay, 300 apps, half of them powered by AI. The numbers are indeed staggering. And I can see how this is a very juicy opportunity for a lot of companies to get in front of so many people and considering the app ecosystem is only one years old. So a very young program. All right, now that we 
we know what the app ecosystem is and roughly how big it is and how juicy of an opportunity it is for developers, let's take a look at what's ahead because this is really what Canva Extend is all about. It's about announcing novelties, announcing new developments for the program. So let's jump into that part of the presentation. To truly double down on our mission to empower the world to design, we have to make Canva the world's most pluggable platform. We want to enable design workflows with Canva from anywhere. And we want to give you and your business the tools and capabilities to thrive as a developer on the Canva platform. So it seems that for Canva, this comes down to focusing on three key areas for their app ecosystem. Let's get back to Anwar. And for us, that boils down to three things. One, offering new ways for our users to engage with your apps via a dramatically improved apps SDK. Two, it's about enabling you to add Canva-powered design workflows directly into your apps or platforms via the Connect API. And three, it's about partnering with you to build on Canva and making sure that it's rewarding. This is where Anwar introduces the new Canva Apps SDK or the Canva Apps SDK V2. So let's start with the basics. What does SDK mean? Well, SDK, when we are talking about apps, stands for Software Development Kit. So these are the toolkit that Canva puts at the disposal of the developers so they can build an app that works on the Canva ecosystem. So let's hear what's new there. By better anticipating user needs, we surface your apps to them at the right time. Then that is why we're extremely proud to introduce our Apps SDK V2. All right, so we still don't know much about what's new in this toolkit for developers, but just wait for it because Cameron just invited Alex and Martin, both working in the app ecosystem at Canva, to come and kind of explain what the novelties are all about. With our updated Apps SDK V2, we're not just giving you new tools, we're expanding the possibilities of what you can build on Canva. From new UI entry points to deeper integrations, we're we're committed to create, helping you create apps that feel natural and intuitive to our users. Okay, so new UI entry points, meaning we will find the Canva apps in many more places in Canva, not just limited to the apps tab in the editor. We will find them in other places and we'll learn more about that later in the presentation. And the second is deeper integration. So meaning developers will be able to do deeper things, deeper integrate Canva with their own platform, but also deeper modify what we can do in Canva with their apps. When we launched Apps SDK last year, we had an API for text and assets. This enabled all of you to build over 300 super cool apps, such as photo, video, audio, voiceover, animation, marketing, type, learning, AI generation, data visualization, project management, whew, and graphic design apps. But we always wanted you to build for many, many more use cases. And that is why we are so excited to introduce powerful new APIs that read, modify, and query content, enabling a myriad of new possibilities. New APIs that read, modify, and query content. What does that mean? With that, we are beyond thrilled to announce. Can I get a drum roll, please? our brand new content query and design editing APIs. Okay, content query and design editing APIs. Yes, what do they do? Content query enables your apps to read and modify the text directly on a design, all while preserving the original formatting. As you can see, this opens up exciting opportunities like seamless translation, integrated spell checking, SEO optimization, and AI-powered text enhancements. Okay, that sounds cool. What about the other one? Our design editing API enables users to read elements from a design, take control of the positioning, orientation, dimensions, and fills. And this is great for anyone who wants to create multiple versions of the same design, automate layout changes, or improve the designs through AI. The possibilities here are truly limitless. Okay, now we are getting into something really crunchy. If I understood correctly, the design editing API will allow developers to create, to build apps that will design for us? This editing API lets you build AI design editing apps much, much faster than you could do on your own. I think this is pretty cool. 
Now, this is just a preview, but it looks really promising to me. You see how she entered a text prompt and went from a basic template to pretty much a custom design. She asked for a more modern look and a pastel gradient background, and the app transformed that template to really match the design she prompted. So yeah, this indeed is very promising, knowing that this is going to be handled to developers and they are going to come up with with all sorts of ideas on how to use that. That is why we're proud to announce our brand new built-in translation services. It is so easy. Developers can translate their apps into Turkish, Japanese, Korean, German, French, Portuguese, Indonesian, and Spanish. All you have to do is use the default English in your app, tag the text needing translation, and then republish your app to our platform. And we will do the rest. So that is pretty cool because Canva is indeed being used in 60% of the cases in non-English markets. So being able to use an app in your native language is a huge advantage for Canva users that fall into that category of non-English speakers. Now let's come back to another element that they already mentioned earlier in the presentation that Canva apps will now be surfaced in multiple UI entry points. I would like to know a bit more about that. We help make your app even more discoverable so that users can find it when they need it. That is why we've added several new entry points across Canva, which include apps in the photo editing panel, the text editing tab, the elements tab, and apps in docs. I think this makes a lot of sense because when we use Canva, we need to have access to the tools when it's convenient in our workflow. So adding them to the photo editing panel, the text tab, the elements tab, and of course still in the apps tab makes much more sense than just to have to go and find them in the apps tab. All right, so these were kind of like the biggest news in terms of the building blocks of these apps. And then Canva jumps in into another part of the presentation, leaving the apps SDK, aka the building blocks, to focus on the new Canva Connect API, which allow users, allow companies to use Canva on their existing platform. So we have two things here. We have the new apps SDK, which are the building blocks, the toolkit that allow developers to build on Canva, okay, apps that work on Canva. And we have the Connect API, which allows company to use Canva on their own platform and design with Canva that integrated in their own platform, website, or tool that they already have. So let's learn a bit more about that Connect API. You will probably see these APIs out in action without even realizing it. For example, Canva Slack integration is fully powered by the Connect API. It gives users seamless access to their Canva designs, allowing them to comment, share, and even generate new designs directly within the Slack app using magic design prompts. So indeed, the Canva Slack integration is a great example of what you can do with that Connect API. And then Canva goes on and shows another example, its integration with Salesforce. It shows how they made partnerships with three no-code or low-code cloud integration platform to make it really easy for developers to connect Canva to their existing platform. That is the keyword. They want to make it easy for everyone to use Canva on your own tool via this Connect API. And then the third and final part of this keynote is focusing on how Canva empowers, how Canva allow their partner developers to thrive in this ecosystem, aka monetization. It's all about the money. One of the things that we are most excited about, or were most excited about last year, was the announcement of our $50 million Canva Developers Innovation Fund. Okay, so that $50 million innovation fund is something that Canva promised last year when they launched the Canva developer program. So what Canva is going to do now, and I'm going to skip that to come to the juicy bit, but what Canva is going to do now is simply explain roughly how this money has been spent at Canva. He announced that approximately one out of three apps or app developer has received a bit, a chunk 
of that pot of gold of that 15 million dollars to promote their apps to further create the apps to finance basically the building of the apps and then the promotion of the apps but then comes the big news probably the biggest news of the entire show the entire event and i'm not going to spoil it for you i'm going to let cam and anwar bring it to you we are committed to helping developers turn their apps into revenue generating businesses so we're announcing today a new way for developers to monetize their apps. Can I please get the biggest drum roll of the day, please, for the Premium Apps Program. All right, the Premium Apps Program. What a fancy name. What does it do? Premium app developers whose apps get used by Canva Pro, Canva Teams, and Canva Enterprise users. Those users will get access to some of the best third-party apps, and their most advanced features will all be bundled directly into their Canva subscription. And that means that if your app qualifies to be in the premium app program, any engagement with your app generates you an ongoing revenue stream. All right, so let me rephrase that for you. The premium app program is going to be a set of apps that are so good that Canva decides to move them from the main app ecosystem that anybody can access to the premium app program, which means that this premium app program is only for paid Canva users. It's like a pro feature, right? It's just going to be a pro app or a premium app available for Canva Pro, Canva Teams and Canva for Enterprise. And so the paid users will benefit from accessing these apps and the developers who made these apps will get a financial kickback from Canva every time users use their apps. So that is, in a nutshell, the premium premium app program. So, Anwar, let's quickly recap on everything that we've announced this morning. Today was about sharing our vision for the future of developers. One, it's about offering new ways to get your app discovered, such as new use cases to enable our users built-in translation services and new entry points. Two, it's about enabling you to take the best of Canva and bake it into your platform or apps. And three, it's about enabling you to thrive as a partner with our ongoing go-to-market resources and brand new premium app program to set you up for success. All right, and that is pretty much everything that was announced at Canva Extend. In my opinion, if you ask me, I think the two most important announcements were, of course, the premium app program, because pretty soon we are going to be seeing as pro users i'm looking forward to this we're going to be seeing some really cool apps that are part of the pro subscription that's the first major change you are going to experience the second one is that we are going to start seeing apps that can really guide us and help us in the design process thanks to that design editing api the app developers will now be able to access more deeper what they can do with with Canva. So I'm looking forward to see how AI is going to enhance our design even more, not just about generating images or generating text, it's going to literally design for us. So really looking forward to this development as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recap. This was my recap, my commentary of Canva Extend, everything about Canva apps, where they are going. And if you did, please give me a like, share this video with someone you think might be interested. And I'm going to leave you this other video right there that you should probably watch next.